Essential Training for Email Marketing. Hey guys, Rana here. And in this video, you will learn all the basics of email marketing. If you just started a new business, maybe you have online store or YouTube channel, or even you have an offline store like a grocery store, something like that. Email marketing is the best solution to solve all the problems that you face when you just launch a new business, right? There are so many email marketing platform out there, but in this video, we are specifically look at Sendinblue. Sendinblue has all the tools that you need to grow your business. If you are new to email marketing, this is a perfect tool that you can learn from scratch. Okay, so without wasting more time, let's jump straight into the essential training of email marketing. Now go to the first link in the description box of this video and click on that. And you will land on this website. From here, you have to click on sign up for free. Here you have to type your company name and your email and type your password and click on get started. And now we have to verify our email. Now open your Gmail account and now you can see we have verification email from send in blue. Let's open up this email and click on confirm my email address. So now you can see that email address has been confirmed successfully. So now we have to complete our profile by filling this short form. So let's fill in the details. Let's type first name, last name and type your country and your phone number and your company information and you type your website URL and your street address, your zip code, your city and your country and scroll down and select your business activity. And here you have to select your company size and type how many contacts do you have now? I'm gonna type 200 and I'm gonna check these two boxes and then click on complete my profile. Now type a verification code that's sent to your phone number and then click over here. So on this page, select your free plan, click over here. So this is the dashboard of Send in Blue. Now I'm going to show you how you can import contact from your contact list. Some of you may already have contact list like probably you was working with another email marketing provider in the past and you have built your contact list and you want to switch your email marketing company provider and this is how you can do that. The way we import contacts in Send in Blue, you have to click on contacts and here you can see that we have only one contact which is by default is your. To import contacts, let's come over here and click on import contacts. So here you can import contact by uploading a CSV file, xlsx or .txt file or you can import contact by copying and pasting right here okay so i'm going to upload a .txt file let's click on upload file and drag and drop your file over here so i'm going to drag and drop my contact list file so as you can see that these are my contacts now i'm going to click on confirm your file in the next step we have mapping data here you have to select under the email email and the second field you can import maybe first name you can capture first name if you want if you do not want to capture first name you can leave it do not import okay so I'm gonna leave it as it is next click on confirm mapping so here you can import these contacts under your existing list or you can create a new list by clicking over here let's click on create a list let's type a list name I'm going to type my old contacts and here you can select your folder or you can create a new one. Let's create a new folder. I'm going to name it my old contacts and then click on create folder and then click on create list. And now click on confirm your list. Now check this box and then click on confirm your import. So as you can see that we have successfully imported our contact list. Now send in blue will verify this contact list within one hour. A few moments later. Within five minutes, send in blue has verified our contact list. And you can see that this green message import has been complete. So let's move with the next step. Now I'm going to show you how you can add your own branded email in your send in blue account. The way we add branded email. Let's go to your account and click over here and then click on senders and IP. So in the sender tab, you see only one email. 
which ends with at the rate gmail.com. To add a branded email, let's come over here and click on add new sender. From name, let's type your name and your email. Contact at your domain name.com. After typing your email, let's click on save. So now we have to verify this email. Let's go to your email account. Let's go to your branded email account. So I have created this email with Hostinger. If you want to learn how to create branded email, then make sure you check out the description box of this video. In the description box, you will find a tutorial where I'll show you how you can create a branded email. Anyways, let's open up email box by clicking over here. So as you can see that we have received an email from Sendinblue. Let's open that email and then click on activate your sender. So I'm going to log in once again. So as you can see that branded email has verified. So let's move with our next step. So now I'm going to show you how you can create a sign up form that you can add anywhere on your website. Your audience can subscribe to your website newsletter. So this way you can build your own email list, right? The way we create a sign up form in Send in Blue, let's go to contacts and come over here and click on forms. And now click on create a subscription form and now type the form name. So I'm going to type my website newsletter. So by typing a unique name, you can recognize your form. Maybe in the future, you may have many forms in your Send in Blue account. By typing a unique name of your form, you can recognize your different types of form. Okay, so I'm creating this form for my website newsletter and I'm going to click on next. So in the next part, we are going to design our newsletter. To design a newsletter, you can see we have drag and drop editor. To change anything from this newsletter, you can click anywhere on this newsletter. Like you can change a text. Let's maybe type something like subscribe to my newsletter or you can type whatever you want. Okay, so I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to delete that. Okay. Let's come over here in the build tab. Let's drag and drop this attribute field. And here I'm going to change maybe first name and here you can change whatever you want. Right. But I'm going to delete this. If you come over here, form design and here you can change the title. You can change background color, whatever you want. I recommend you to spend some time to design your newsletter, play around with it. Once you're happy with your design, you can simply click on next. In the next page, you can see we have this notice. We strongly recommend you to use reCAPTCHA confirmation to prevent spam bot from adding a fake data to your list. But for this newsletter, I'm not going to use a reCAPTCHA. So let's scroll down. In a step three, you have to select your list in which you want to collect your new emails, right? So as you know, we already created a contact list. By default, you will get one list. You can select that your first list and then click on next. So in a step four, select no confirmation email and then click on next. In a step five, you can change a label of these messages if you want but I'm not going to change anything. Let's click on next. So in a step six, you are ready to share your subscription form. So there is a couple different ways that you can use to share your subscription form. First, we have this link. Let's copy this link, open up a new tab, right click and paste and go. So as you can see that we have this type of newsletter. You can shorten the URL and you can add that shortened URL in the description box of your video or anywhere on your website. Let's close this. But if you want to add this subscription form in your website, then you can go to HTML tab and here you can copy the HTML code and let's go back to your website and here you can add that subscription form anywhere on your website. Let's add that subscription form. I'm going to click on edit with Elementor because this page is built with Elementor and this is a WordPress website and let's scroll down and let's add another section select this structure click on add let's search for HTML custom HTML and paste your HTML code over here and then click on apply let's 
exit to the dashboard or forget to click on update okay once you update let's click on exit to dashboard let's view our page let's scroll down and now you can see that we have the subscription form inside our wordpress website let's close this now we can simply click on done so now we have created our subscription form let's move with our next step so now I'm going to show you how you can create a automation email. The form that we have just created, a newsletter form or a subscription form, if you have added that form in your website like this, if someone going to subscribe to your website newsletter by typing their email, now your send in blue account will send that person a welcome email in which welcome email you can give that person a special goodies like you can give them ebooks maybe video tutorials or it could be anything the way we create a automation email in send in blue there is a two steps you have to follow first we will create an email template and next we will set up a automation workflow let's create an email template to create an email template let's go to campaigns and then click on templates and now you can see that we have three default templates over here but we're not gonna use those templates Let's create a new one. Let's click on new template. Let's type your template name. I'm going to type welcome message and let's type the subject line. Thanks for subscribing and now type preview text. Get your free goodies. You can type whatever you want, right? Let's scroll down. Here you can select your branded email and let's type your from name and then click on next step. So here you can choose your editor. So there is three types of editor, drag and drop editor, rich text editor, which is a simple text editor, paste your code, HTML code editor. I'm going to use drag and drop editor. Let's select that. So this is your default templates looks like. You can remove or add any section you want. If you hover your mouse over anywhere on this template, you will see these tools that will allow you to insert or delete any section from your email template. If you want to remove this section, you can simply hover your mouse over here and click on delete icon and click OK. If you want to add or insert any section, you can come over here and drag and drop any section that you want. Here you can replace your logo. You can change a title by clicking on it and let's change it to maybe newsletter. So this is again a drag and drop editor. I recommend you to spend some time, play around with it and create your professional looking email template. Once you're happy with your email template, then click on save and quit. So now you will see your design template over here. And now click on save and activate and then click on save and quit. So now you can see that we have created our welcome template. So in the next step, we are going to create an automation workflow. The way we create an automation workflow in send in blue, let's go to automation. However, if you do not see these options like transitionals or automations or contacts you can simply click on this plus icon and scroll down make sure your automation app is checked and below that you can enable any of these apps facebook ad comes with a premium plan if you want to enable facebook ad app then you have to go with the premium plan okay so let's go back to automation now click on create your first workflow so here you can see that by default we have different types of workflow. Let's click on create a custom workflow and let's type your workflow name welcome email and you do not need to type a description. If you want to allow your contacts to enter the workflow more than once then you can check this box but in my case I don't really like this. I'm going to click on start automating. So below this page you may see this message your transactional email status is not active make a request to activate it let's click over here request successfully sent now you can close this okay now let's click on this plus icon to add an entry point here we have to select this option a contact submitted a form so here we have to select a subscription form that we have created earlier and then click ok and now click on this plus icon below the subscription form and now click on send an email and here you have to select your email template that we have created so we have created this email template earlier welcome message select that and i'm not gonna choose any of these option 
and then click OK. By creating this workflow, we simply telling SendinBlue if any person going to sign up for our website newsletter or this form, this email template should send to that person automatically. Once you create your workflow, then click on activate workflow. So now our workflow is active. If anyone going to subscribe to our website newsletter, send in blue will send this custom email to that person automatically. You don't have to do anything, right? With send in blue, you can create advanced workflow as well. But in this beginner guide, I'm not going to show that. I will create a separate video tutorial for advanced email marketing. So now I'm going to show you how you can create an email campaign. In this email campaign, you simply sending an email to your subscriber in which you may be promoting some product or maybe you are sharing your website blog post. It could be anything. The way we create an email campaign, let's click on campaigns and then click on emails and then click on create my first email campaign. Here type your campaign name. I'm going to type WordPress tutorial and type your subject line free WP tutorial and preview text WP tutorial and below that you can select your custom email from name you can type your name and then click on next step so here you have to design your email template you can use drag and drop editor or you can use rich text editor or you can use HTML code editor this time we will go with text editor let's click on that here you can type whatever you want let's say Hi, Rana here. This is my new blog post. And let's highlight our text. Let's add a link. I'm going to type my website URL. All right. Let's click OK and then click on save. So this is the design of the email that you are going to send to your contacts. Okay. Or your subscribers. Once you're happy with your design, then click on next. Here you have to select your contact list to whom you want to send this email. I'm going to select my this contact list, my old contact list and then click on next step. So again, this is the subject and this is the from name and this is your design of your template and this email template or this email will send to this contact list. Once you're happy with your review, then you can simply click on schedule. And here you can send this email immediately by selecting on send it now or you can schedule this email if you want. I'm going to click on send it now and then click on continue. So this way you can send an email to your contacts or your subscriber by creating an email campaign. Right. So I'm not going to click on continue. I'm going to close this. After sending an email to your contacts, you can check out the status of your email. Let's go ahead and click over here, send in blue logo and then go to statistics and here you will see a list of your email campaigns and you will see the analytics of your emails like how many people have clicked on that, how many people are open that, unsubscribe to your email list, something like that. Okay. So that's the end of this video guys. I hope you enjoy the video. If you really did, if you learned something from today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys for more videos just like this one. And if you have any question regarding this video or you want to learn more about email marketing, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. I will definitely answer your questions as quickly as possible. So that being said, goodbye and I'll catch you guys next time.